Hey folks, Tom, your frugally prepper. My light doesn't look quite right for my face. Oh well, just a talking video. Um, so I wanted to talk about, I'm having a seven up zero. Mm. That's delightful. Anyway, um, so I wanted to talk about just some stuff. I. Got the Saturn done. My son drove that away today. I changed the oil in it and it was smoking like a freight train after that oil change. I changed the oil pressure off the engine and it was just smoking like a freight train. And I think that's a four and a half quart motor and I put five in it. So I overfilled it a little, but I'm like, it shouldn't smoke like that. That's crazy. I let it run for 20 minutes. It was still smoking. I shut it off, told him to come pick it up and drive it around and see if the smoking stops. He started up and drove away with it and there was no smoke. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, um, he says it runs pretty good. The brakes, of course, need work. He says the brakes sound like they have ball bearings in them. And yeah, uh, they're metal to metal. Um, but I'll get those done once we know if that engine's going to live. Um, but yeah, I got the garage all cleaned up here. I'm getting ready for another one tomorrow. <laughs> uh, I have a 2004 Saturn L300 with the 2.2 liter, the four cylinder Ecotec engine in it. Those also have a V6 in them and there's all kinds of room in those things because they they're really big enough to accommodate a V6 under there, but it's like they just mount this four cylinder and it's kind of towards the front of the car. It's easy to reach everything. Um, because it's so easy to reach everything, I, I said I would do it. Um, it has lost the timing chain. Um, uh, so uh, it was parked and idling when she lost it. She wasn't accelerating or driving. So that means that the valves are probably bent but the pistons probably survived. I've seen plenty of those where it's been under hard acceleration, like getting on the interstate when it lets go and it will stick the valves in through, it will stick the valves through the pistons, not into the pistons, through them, right? Uh, so, um, Tor, I'll take a look and I'm gonna tear the head off of it first, see if it has bent valves of course and i'm sure it does those are really interference engines um i've never seen one lose a timing chain that doesn't bend valves right <laughs> um and i'm going to see if all the pistons are okay and not cracked um and now she said she put a quart and a half of oil in it and it just was barely registering the dipstick so it may have been low on oil it, well, it was low on oil too we'll have to see if that has anything to do with it but normally the guides crack on those and the timing chain scatters um so that 2.2 liter ecotex a really popular engine a lot of people have it they're getting a lot of miles on it a lot of people's rusty beaters with a heater have that engine so i want to do Hey, how do you fix this? If all you have is some cheap Harbor Freight tools, you know, some basic tools, how do you fix this and get it working as cheaply as possible if you're willing to do the labor yourself, right? That's that's the focus of my channel. You're willing to do, your, do it yourself. How are you gonna fix it and get it working again? So that I save these rusty crusty beaters from the junkyard for another couple years and I get people back on the road and driving with their car, you know? Um, I think that's just what my specialty is. Um, even more than just making money as a mobile mechanic and running a business. Hey, I used to do that and it sucks. It sucks doing that and trying to make money, getting calls all the time and having to work on stuff. I love being able to say, Yes, I'll work on your car. No, I don't work on BMWs. No, I won't work on your Mercedes. Yes, I'll work on your Saturn. Yes, I'll work on your Chevy, right? Because I I love GMs when it comes, well, really driving them or fixing them. I used to be a Ford guy 
through and through. I used to I used to just bleed Ford blue. And then Ford came out with all their new engines with 24 timing chains running everywhere and stretch it out and and metal fatigue and engines blowing up and not honoring warranties. I mean, Fords are just a freaking joke now, right? Uh, I wouldn't buy a Ford, a newer Ford for anything, right? Um, I, I would take a GM any day. Um, but that's just me, my personal preference. I'll work on Hondas and Toyotas and stuff like that too. But I don't work on BMWs and Mercedes. You know, there's plenty of those people out there that are like, I finally got me a BMW. You know, and they, they bought like a 10 year old BMW with 140,000 miles on it. And then they they come to you like, can you look at my car? Because I have 24 lights on, on the dashboard. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's, that's a normal BMW thing, you know? <laughs> uh, so, um, yeah, I don't work on that. They're, they're plasticky crap that cracks and breaks on the engines. They're just a piece of crap to work on. I would rather not do it. Um, I'll leave those videos to Sam Crack. <laughs> if you want to watch him fix junky European cars and fix them up and make them work again, you can watch Sam Crack's channel. If you want to learn how you get everyday Rusty Krusty beaters running and driving again, that's kind of what my channel is going to focus on, I think. Uh, so that's the exciting times. We'll see if this car shows up tomorrow. And tomorrow night, I'll go, I'll bring it in and start tearing it down. They'll probably, they always drop them off backwards in my driveway. So I'll probably have to pop it in neutral, roll it forwards, and then uh, get my rendezvous out and kind of turn it around. Unless I want to work on it backwards in here, I could do that. I could just reel my tool cart up to the front. That'd probably be better because then I can leave the door open. Yeah, I might just do that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but uh, yep fun times I'll tell you alright I'll talk to you all later this is Tom your frugal prepper